Please welcome Russell Crowe. Now, the movies, the, the, the Quick and the Dead, mm -hmm. do you play a priest? Yes, I do. I play a, a former gunfighter, now, now a preacher man. Now, you were picked for this role over Robert De Niro. I think uh, Liam Neeson was also up for it. How, how did it come about? Well, I, I think the studio were just desperate to hire anybody else but me, you know? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I, I came in and did the, the, the thing, and Sharon said, well, you know, I want to work with that fella. And they're all going like, ah, excuse me, this is a $35 million film, Sharon, you know? We can... You, you look. So they, they tried a number of different offers and stuff, but uh, she uh, stuck to her guns and I, and I did the job. Yeah. You're not making a new version of Romancing the Stone? No, I'm not. <laughs> that was a really bad gag. Did <laughs> I just come up with that one? <laughs> yeah, I just That's thought, terrible. why, why not? <laughs> That'd be a good idea. But what does she like to work with, Sharon? Um, well, she's very professional, you know. Um, doesn't keep you waiting around or any of that sort of stuff, you know. So much bad press, I feel actually feel sorry for her. Well, me too, actually, because she doesn't deserve any of that. I mean, what you don't find out so often about her is how much charitable work she does. And, and you know, she has her own... Um, foundation called Planet Hope, and she does all this work with um, teenage girls and, and, and homeless girls and stuff, you know. She does a massive amount of that work, and she's continually under pressure to be this sort of sex kitten, you know? And she's not really. I mean, she's an actress, and she just sort of played that in a, in a movie once, and now she's got to live with it all the time, you know? Catch it all the time. Now, you, in the movie, I mentioned Gene Hackman's also in it, mm -hmm. and I'm amazed at you, actually, Russell Crowe. How could you... What? How could you bet with Gene Hackman that the Buffalo the Bills... The Buffalo Bills, mate. They're a great beat, football the, team. Son. ..beat the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> in a cocked hat. They'd never do it. <laughs> they will this year. You Three-time losers. Look, Three I, got, time... I, got, I got a mate who plays on the offensive line, Johnny Pina. The losers. On the Buffalo Bills. Hey, mate, you got to, you know, it's just... you got to take a team and you stay with them. You know, remember, I'm a South Sydney supporter. Yeah, another you know? bunch of losers. Well, God, you're a bit harsh, <laughs> <laughs> We've won, the oh, most, oh, it's terrible, We've won the most premierships in this competition. Well, in, in, you know, an inception team in 1908. I don't huh? think I'll be seeing them popping out there at the weekend, somehow. Uh. <laughs> in the film uh, the, the, the Sum of Us with uh, Jack Thompson, uh, that opens soon in the States, does it? Uh, I think they're, gonna look, they're looking at February. They were going to go October, but they want to do 100 cities at the one time, and they couldn't get 100 cities in October. As I walked out of seeing that film, I, I don't want to sound homophobic, but I said to somebody, I wonder how some Australian males will cope with Russell Crowe kissing a bloke. And one of my female producers says, I can't cope with it. <laughs> so, well, I couldn't cope with it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes all of us. Yeah, so <laughs> when... It might, was it a hard film to make? Um, it, yeah, it was. But my bottom line for making that film has got to do with human rights, you know? Uh, I read the script. And I really enjoyed the story. It was so warm and loving. It's a great story about relationships and stuff. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. You know, and it's also very funny. Um, yeah, good Aussie so, humour. Good so Aussie for humor. me to turn it down would have been totally hypocritical for, you know, of how I've based doing the rest of the movies that I've made. But movies know? like movies like that one, movies like, and, and it's not an age story, so don't get me wrong, um, but movies like uh, Tom Hanks and Philadelphia, mm -hmm. the only way you're going to get the heterosexual community to, to understand some other people mm -hmm. is by movies like this. Yeah. It's not really about, about being politically correct for me. It's a, about just that, that bottom line of the human rights. And my reasons for doing the film are within the film, so you should see the film. Yeah, that's, that's true. Now, uh, just one final question. Is it true that Russell Crowe is getting clucky? Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> I've always, you know, I, I've always... Um, I like, I like kids, you know. I kind of... Um, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, probably because I spend so much time away from home and away from my parents and away from my niece, you know. Um, uh, but that's, you know, that's a magazine article, Darren. Oh, like good, that. OK, on that note. <laughs> I thought I was on that note, would you please say, Russell Crowe.